let's chat about dating. Because I ran into a woman um, who's my age, 60, and she's single, I'm single, and we were chatting about how difficult it is to find a guy at this stage of our life. Because the guys who are our age, including my cousin who recently got married, always go for the younger girls. So she even, like she said, she tried all the Tinder and all the apps and couldn't find a guy. So she said, okay, I'm willing to pony up money and pay for a matchmaker. And she went to a matchmaker here in Montreal, who's quite known in the city. And basically this woman said to her, at your age, you're basically unmatchable. Like, forget about it. No guy's gonna go for you. Like, what a thing to say to anybody. Like, talk about stabbing her in the dark, you know, in the back and saying, basically you're done. You're like a has-been and no man will ever go for you. This is exactly what happens when you try to date when you're 50 plus years of age. So we have this woman and her friend who have decided, like many other of these strong and independent women, to return to dating when they're in their 50s and 60s, only to find out that dating is a lot more difficult than them. And this woman goes on to say, well, listen, but I'm such a great catch. Why isn't it that men don't want me anymore? But the fact of the matter is that, hey, maybe you shouldn't be dating still when you're 50 years of age. Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope you are all doing well. So on today's episode, we have a video here from the Ministry of Masculinity on women over the age of 50 failing to realize why they are still single. And we're going to be kicking it off with a clip from this woman right here who says, you know, I thought I was a catch. Why exactly can I not find a man? So I'm going to leave a link to Ministry's YouTube channel linked in the pinned comment. Make sure that you go and check him out. But without further ado, let's jump in and take a listen to what this woman has to tell us. Let's chat about dating. Because I ran into a woman um, who's my age, 60, and she's single, I'm single, and we were chatting about how difficult it is to find a guy at this stage of our life. Because the guys who are our, our age, including my cousin who recently got married, always go for the younger girls. Right, so right off the bat, guys, I don't believe this woman at all. She says she has a friend who his, who is exactly her age and this friend is having issues dating and she went to go seek a matchmaker, which we'll talk about in a minute. Truthfully, I think a lot of the times when these women are making these videos, they're actually just referring to themselves, but they would prefer to say as though it's somebody else. Oh, my friend did this or my friend talked to this boy or she did this when usually it's actually just them. But she's having the problem here because the dudes who are her age are chasing younger women, right? That is her main problem here. The men that she wants don't want to date 50 or 60 year old women. They are assumedly dating the 30 and 40 year old women. And this is a problem for them. So she even like she said, she tried all the Tinder and all the apps and couldn't find a guy. So she said, okay, I'm willing to pony up money and pay for a matchmaker. And she went to a matchmaker here in Montreal, who's quite known in the city. And basically this woman said to her, at your age, you're basically unmatchable. Like, forget about it. No guy's gonna go for you. Like, what a thing to say to anybody. Like, talk about stabbing her in the dark, you know, in the back and saying, basically you're done. You're like a has-been and no man will ever go for you. I mean, maybe the matchmaker was being honest. Okay, so here we have, what did the woman decide to do? She decided to jump on all of the dating applications and that still didn't work. Which by the way, guys, I guarantee you that even at this age, she was probably still getting a bunch of matches on these apps, but either these men didn't want to commit to her or she didn't view them as good enough quality men, right? So we failed completely at regular dating applications now we move on to paying a matchmaker. Now, I've always thought this, guys, but by the time you're out there paying for a matchmaker, the game is already over. Because here's the thing. The matchmaker can get a solid option for you and put that man in front of you. 
But the problem is he will never be good enough. That's why these women are still single at their particular ages. They could have had their Prince Charming decades ago. In fact, many of them did, but they chose to divorce their husbands and things like this, right? So flash forward to current year, I don't think it matters what kind of man you put in front of these women. I don't think it's going to be good enough because if there was a man that was good enough that would actually want a relationship with her, number one, he wouldn't be seeing a matchmaker himself. And number two, she would have that relationship with him already. But she doesn't. Yet guys in their 60s, 70s and 80s, we've seen they're all having babies with younger women. I just do think it is a bit more challenging. Um, you know, do you lie? Uh, I feel like I'm a catch, but according to this matchmaker, I'm not. I mean, also according to a lot of guys, you're not, right? So I agree with her here for a moment. She says, listen, dating at this age, it is more difficult. And I totally agree with that. I think that's probably the case. If you're a woman and you're trying to date in your 50s and 60s, it's not going to be like dating when you're in your 20s or even your 30s, okay? Like, 30s become more difficult for women. 50s and 60s is another ball game entirely, okay? So I don't think it's a good idea to tell women to lie to them and say, hey, don't worry, your Prince Charming is around the corner. So what, you're like 57 years of age or 60 just give it a few more tries. Your Prince Charming is around the, uh, around the corner when the truth of the matter is that you've probably already found your Prince Charming and ditched him, or you don't think any of the men that are interested in you are up to your standards. That's typically the way it goes. But I, I find it funny, guys, because these women will make these videos and say, you know, but I'm a catch. Why, why can't I find a guy? But obviously to the men that you want, they didn't find you to be a catch. Maybe you should start talking to the men and having discussions with men about what they might want in a relationship, okay? But we don't really ever ask men what they might want or what they might be interested in. We just say, oh, well, this absolutely sucks. Okay? I find it interesting in all of these videos that we never actually consider what men might be interested in, which is really, really sad, guys. You know, a lot of these people could have completely avoided their situations if they just perhaps either lowered their standards in entitlement or asked maybe what That's is it exactly great. that excuse me, what exactly is it that men want from me? So re let's wrap up this video and then we'll continue on to the next one. I just do think it is a bit more challenging. Um, you know, do you lie? Uh, I feel like I'm a catch, but according to this matchmaker, I'm not. So yeah, that's my great. Perhaps the reason why I'm wearing this t-shirt, I am weird. Right, so that's how the video ends. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments box below. Do you think that this matchmaker was just lying to them? Or do you think that they're going to find their Prince, Chime, uh, Prince Charming at age 50 or 60? You guys let me know what you think. But let's continue into the next clip here. This looks absolutely terrifying. Uh, we have a woman in her car. Classic. So many of these TikTok videos are just recorded in their car. Um, and they're going to be talking about dating in their 50s. So let's take a listen. I'll move this video down a little bit. Just because I'm 53 doesn't mean that I'm old and put on a shelf. I can run with the best of a 30 year old still. It's just a number, people. I don't feel like I'm 53 because I'm still young. I don't have kids, never been married. You know, all these, I don't do dating sites, okay? I just don't do it. Did it years ago, a long, long time ago. I don't do it. I don't have kids because of other things. Um, I've never been married because it's never happened. Um, my career has always been there. Um, people don't give people a chance anymore. Right, so this woman is next levels of delusion. She says that she's, what did she say she was? 53, 56, something like that. I kind of zoned out, to be honest with you. She says she's 53, 56, in, in her 50s. Um, she has children, and she's frustrated because men are not giving her a chance anymore, right? She says she's not on the applications anymore, online dating, um, but she was in the past. And it seems to me like she's someone who 
she brought it up multiple times in this video, she focused a lot more on her career, right? Which is totally fine. If you want to be a girl and you want to go out there and, and chase your career, that's totally cool. Um, but a lot of these women, when they do that, they are sacrificing their families and um, marriages and things like this in order to pursue a career. I think modern day society has told a lot of these women that they can do absolutely everything, you know, that they can uh, do the job of essentially two people. But I think a lot of them find out the hard way that chasing your career and raising a family and things like this is not as easy as it seems, particularly in the current year where, uh, well, let's just be straight up honest about it. Inflation is absolutely brutal at the moment. You can't exactly raise kids in the same way as you used to be able to, right? These days, guys, you have children and basically both people are still on the hook to go out there and work. It's not the same as it used to be. So this woman still feels as though she's in her 30s though, and she's frustrated that men are not giving her a chance anymore. That's crazy to me. Um, I've never been married because it's never happened. Um, my career has always been there. Um, people don't give people a chance anymore. It's like, um, you know, I own my own place. I own my own car. I pay my own bills. Um, and there's that speech again, right? Oh, I own my own house. I own my own car. I pay my own bills. You know, these women list these things off as if men are interested in how much money you make or whether or not you own a house, right? It's amazing to me how girls will list this as though it's something that is stopping them. Like, wh why am I not getting a man? Look at me. I have a house. I have a car. I pay my bills. Dudes will hear this and they'll be like, okay. That's nice. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? These are things that oftentimes women are attracted to. You could say that women are attracted to this kind of stability and things like this. Um, you know, if a guy's got a nice job, he's got a nice house, a car and things like this, a woman might find him more attractive because he represents stability. But let me tell you this right off the bat. Dudes are not really interested in what's in your bank account. We're not really looking at your career. Oftentimes, it sounds kind of cringe, guys, but... Men are just kind of looking at what kind of person you are. Yes, they'll be looking at whether or not you're attractive as well. Right? I'm not going to downplay that. Men are obviously visual people. But we're not people who generally give a damn about whether or not you make six figures and things like this. This is not something that generally crosses dudes' minds. Like, oh, wow, she has, you know, she has a mortgage. She might be a great choice. Because dudes understand as well that typically at the end of the day, we're the ones who are going to be expected to provide in that capacity anyway. I mean, how many times do you see videos like this, guys, of single mothers saying, I'm not looking for a father for my kids, um, but we all know that the man that they're looking for will inevitably have to end up paying the bills for them anyway. So let's continue. It's like, is there any real people out there anymore? I mean, I get so, so much bullshit. And I'm like, it's like within two seconds, you can tell somebody's BSing you. I've been around the block a little bit. I'm not, I'm not going to be somebody sugar's mama. So don't think it's going to happen because it's not. Um, I still believe in somebody opening my door for me. Somebody being the man. But yet I'm still an independent woman. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. So we believe in the, the, um, chivalrous behaviors of men you want men to be traditional to open your door take you out on dates things like this but in the same breath you say but i'm a strong and independent woman that, that's not how this works madam <laughs> right you want men to be traditional but you're not exactly a traditional person yourself right like, i i have no issue with these traditional values that people say that they want right if you say that you want a guy who is traditional who takes you out on dates, who open door, opens doors for you, that's totally fine. You can want that if you wish. But don't turn around and say that, you know, you're a strong and independent woman, I don't need no man anyway, and I have a house. It's like, okay, dudes are going to hear that, and they're going to say, no problem, I'm just going to go and be chivalrous, or I'm going to take my chivalry elsewhere, right? I'm, not, I'm either going to stop the chivalry altogether, or I'm just not going to give it to you, because why would men give traditional behaviors to women who are not traditional. 
doesn't really make sense to me, right? It seems like a little bit of a scam for the dudes. It's like, is there any real people out there anymore? All right, so let's continue on to this next video here. And guys, I haven't seen these particular videos, or at least this one, so uh, I'm in for the headache just as much as you are. This is perhaps the second last video of today. We'll see how we go time-wise. Um, but we have another woman here who is dating over the age of 50. And of course, what better place to talk about your dating escapades than TikTok of all things, by the way. Amazing to me how people just don't keep their private lives private. They decide to jump on TikTok and complain about it. But of course, guys, I can't complain about that because it makes for hilarious content for the channel. Um, and we never run out. So let's continue into this next clip here. She says, I think after the idea of you came out on Amazon Prime, I don't know what she's talking yapping about. Let's take a listen. I think after the idea of you came out on Amazon Prime, you know, I, with Anne Hathaway, please tell me you guys have all watched that, that movie on Amazon Prime. I have not seen that movie. Um, sounds like some chick flick. Not really interested, but I carry on. It's so flipping good. Like all the ladies are like, we're pulling young guys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for it with a young guy because why not? I really think that sometimes young guys they treat us better. They treat us better than guys our own age. Right. So that's why I haven't seen this movie because it's garbage. <laughs> I see. I understand. Um, a lot of these uh, these modern movies, guys, particularly the ones that push messages like this, I'm just not really interested in watching. I feel like I'm becoming, becoming, you know, one of those old grouchy dudes where I talk about how people are ruining movies these days and stuff like this. But to be honest with you, I think it's kind of true. I mean, how many shows have they ruined these days? How many shows have people like Netflix and Amazon and all these places got their hands on? Disney these days has gone to garbage. They get their hands on these shows and uh, these modern day media um, enterprises and they just completely ruin them. But I digress. So this woman is saying how young dudes are treating you better than dudes your own age. It sounds to me like you're just mad that dudes your own age won't commit to you, but carry on. Guys, they treat us better. They treat us better than guys our own age. And then we're looking at Cher with that hot, hot little number that she's got. And you know what? He loves her. So it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, people have so much to say, don't they? Because some people are just haters. They just, they want to hate rather than love. But um, I've had so many of my friends my age reach out to me and say, um, we're going to go for that 35-year-old, that 38-year-old, that 42-year-old. And I'm like, yeah, why not? Why wouldn't you? Men have been doing it forever. So I have been known to dabble with a younger guy. Let's just be real. I actually have zero problem with what this woman is saying. I don't care. If, if you're like a woman in your 50s and you want to go out there and you want to try and date dudes in their 30s or 40s, I personally don't give a damn. As long as people are consenting adults, I don't really have a right to tell people what to do. Um, but I do find it funny how oftentimes these women who are now deciding to date these younger men were often the women who were frustrated when men were dating younger women, right? So if we have some, like, you know, I don't know, 40-year-old dude dating, like, a late 20-year-old woman, it's this big problem, and he's manipulative, and he's evil, and blah, blah, blah. But then a lot of these women will turn around, they'll get to their 50s, and they'll date dudes a little bit younger, and then it'll be totally fine. So it's just weird how this age thing works, guys, where... Sometimes we have an issue with it, and then sometimes we don't. Um, absolutely hilarious. If you guys didn't know as well, there's a chart that kind of displays the age um, that women are interested in of their counterparts, right? So what age women like in men when they're of a particular age. And actually, as they get into their 50s, I believe it starts to dip. Um, usually women prefer dudes who are a little bit older than them. But as they get older... There's like this period in their life where they go back to trying to date the young guys again. And of course, they can't get relationships from them. Ergo, we get videos like this. So let's continue. I have been known to dabble with a younger guy. Let's just be real. Not, not because I don't think older guys are hot. And I love older guys. I love guys specifically my age. I love connecting on with men from my generation who like are going through what I'm going through. I've always said that I want to be with a man who like is <laughs> feeling like the aches and pains of being in your 50s, you know, um, who can talk about the 80s, Gen X, like all of it. I mean, that decade, it's like huge in our lives, right? They yeah. So what always ends up happening is we, we kind of return to the older guys, I think, because 
in general, women want to date dudes who are a little bit older because they tend to have, they want to feel protected and cared for, feel like the guy has a little bit more world experience and things like this. Um, so they'll go around, they'll try and have their fun with the young guys, but eventually they end up wanting to have a relationship with an older guy anyway. Right? This is kind of like the stability versus fun argument as well, right? Where you have women throughout their 20s, they'll chase the very attractive men on dating apps and things like this. But as they get into their 30s, they'll try and tell you how they've done their healing and they've gone through their journey and now they're ready to be treated right when all it really means is, okay, we're looking for a dude with a bank balance now who can look after me. So it's kind of like a return to their 20s, but this time they're in their 50s, if you get what I'm saying. But then they realize again that it won't work and they can't get relationships from these men. And then they go back trying to date for stability again. 80s and the 90s. So unfortunately, for some reason, the guys that really pursue me are young. And like people keep saying, I think because they have more like, uh, they're more confident. Like how could it, a young little kid like that come up to me in an actual restaurant and bar? Like no way would a man my age do that. Like he would just be too cool to do that. But let me tell you, that's why the younger guys are getting the dates because they're actually asking, you know what I mean? I mean, this just sounds to me like you're trying to convince older guys to ask you out on dates and things like this. Um, but what I've noticed, particularly of the older guys who are in this age demographic, who are in their 50s and 60s, they're not really interested to be honest with you, like a lot of these guys have either lost their house. I mean, they've lost their kids. They can see the crazy from a mile away and they're just really not altogether that interested. So it kind of sounds to me like we're trying to sell ourselves to the older guys, but the older guys are like, no, thank you. I'm just going to uh, you know, play this new video game that I discovered and I'm going to have a great time. But guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Why do you think that some of these women in their 50s are still single? Um, because it seems like they cannot figure it out. So leave your thoughts and your comments. Don't forget to check out Ministry of Masculinity. I'm going to leave his channel linked in the pinned comment. And make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.